Hey guys, welcome again. Um, today we're gonna take a look at how Tomal paste spreads. First of all, I'm gonna show you the dot method. So I basically applied a small dot of Tomal paste in detail, the Tomal Grizzly cryonaut on the middle of the CPU. And you can see how it spread with the glass plate. The next method is basically the five dot method. So you have a small dot on each quarter and a, a little bit bigger one in the middle. You can see it's not spreading so well there is still some empty spaces. And the third method is the cross method, which actually works surprisingly well. You can see it actually covers the whole IHS and you cannot see any air bubbles or anything underneath. So that worked quite, fi quite fine. The stripe method is also okay, but you can see in the end, there are still some, some places missing on the edge. So that didn't really work out. Yeah, even with a little bit of more pressure, it didn't spread completely on the whole IHS. The two-stripe method is a little bit better, I think, because it spreads more evenly. As you can see, it also covers almost the whole, whole IHS. Still, the edges are not covered. The next method is the full spread method, the one I prefer. You just make sure that it actually covers the whole IHS, which is the big positive aspect of the full spread method. A lot of people complain online about air bubbles, but I cannot really confirm that. And even if you have an air bubble of one millimeter diameter, the impact is gonna be smaller than having not the edges covered. Now we will take a look at different thermal pastes. First, the thermal grizzly cryonaut. I will apply a small dot in the middle of the IHS and show you how the different tomal pastes spread. So the tomal grizzly cryonaut actually spreads quite well. And now the Prolimatech PK3, which is a very common tomal paste. And from my point of view, a little bit harder to spread, but also going very well. But as you can see, this just shows that you should not use the dot method only. So the next paste is the Arctic MX4, which is also a quite common thermal paste. From my point of view, it spreads a little bit better than the Prolimatech PK3, but not as good as the Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut paste. And the next one is the IC Diamond 7. From my point of view, very, very hard to spread, even if you don't use the, the dot method and if you want to spread it yourself, it's quite hard to apply and I cannot really recommend this paste. It's just too hard to spread and too expensive for the performance. So, and to give you some key numbers, the Intel socket actually supports up to 250 Newton pressure. And I measured how much pressure I, I can apply with my four fingers. And it's around 160 to 170 Newton. So the pressure I apply with the glass plate is actually the same like with the cooler. Now the Cooler Master value, IC value V1, it kind of separates the ceramic and the silicone kind of separated from each other from, from pre uh, pressing down. So this pace was kind of weird. The thermal grizzly uh, hydronaut spreads very well. It's not silicon based, which is very different from all the others. Performs quite good and spreads really, really well. And now we're taking a look at a cool laboratory liquid pro. You can see it's already attempt one because it doesn't really work. I want to show you what happens if you only apply a dot in the middle with a liquid metal. You can see it kind of goes left, right, up, down, and then it just goes away from the IHS and down in your CPU and you can risk a short. Attempt two, because I wanted to see maybe if I just screw it up, but attempt two, actually the same result. You can see it goes kind of up, down, left, right, and then out of nowhere, it just goes down on the IHS and doesn't really spread at all. And I guess that's the reason why the manufacturer recommends to spread this paste over the whole surface. Usually I use cotton swab to spread it over the surface. And I did a quick time lapse for you guys to so you can see how I spread the liquid metal with the cotton swab. And afterwards I'm gonna apply the pressure again with a glass plating. You can see there are some empty spaces with some air underneath, but you can't really apply more liquid metal, otherwise it would go outside the IHS. So well, that's about it. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, if you miss any paste, so thanks.